Hello. Yeah, hi, cool. Um, I'm a little um, nervous to tell this story because it happened to both my wife and I, and usually I just defer and let her tell it because she's very good at telling it. But, um, and uh, someday she will listen to this, so I hope that I do it justice, but uh, it's one of the best stories I have. So when I got the call for this, I decided, yeah, I'm going to do it. So here it is. <laughs> Uh, we got married last March, and then uh, right away started planning our, our honeymoon, which uh, took place in August. We went to Europe. I'd never been to Europe before, and uh, if you haven't been, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely check that out. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we plan to go to uh, London and Berlin and Amsterdam, and then uh, we decided that uh, because my wife's mom is from England, we decided that we would make a little stop in a town called Huddersfield, which is where her mom is from, to visit some relatives that live there. Her great aunt and uncle, who are the only surviving members of that generation. So we decided, okay, we're gonna go to Huddersfield. We're gonna do this. We'll see some, some of the real England, right? And uh, it was a real ordeal uh, getting in touch with, um, with Aunt Peter, Aunt Peter. <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> With Aunt Barbara and Uncle Peter, because, because, uh, you know, they're not on Facebook, they're 85. Um, so we're like, okay, we'll uh, try and call them, and uh, my wife tried to call them a couple times, and uh, couldn't reach them, and uh, my uh, mother-in-law tried to call them a couple times, and couldn't reach them, so then she said, you know what I did? I just wrote them a letter. I wrote them a letter, I told them you were coming, it was great, and uh, we're like, oh, okay. Sure, and then she was like, what I did was, I wrote the letter in your voice, is what she said to my wife. <laughs> she just wrote a letter pretending she was my wife. I just don't see why she needed to do that. <laughs> I still think that part's weird. <laughs> but, uh... But, uh, when my wife read it, she said, uh, oh, yeah, okay, that sounds like me. She used the word excited a lot. And my wife thought, yeah, I think I say that a lot. So I was like, uh, great. Um, so we go, to, uh, we go to Europe. We go to London. It's amazing. And then we're going to take a, a train up to Huddersfield. And so we have to call Peter and Barbara from London to uh, make arrangements for them to pick us up at the train station. But when we called them, they said, we don't think we can pick you up because... There's a huge festival in town, and it's happening like right near the train station, and we don't know if we're gonna be able to drive anywhere near there. So if you can find a cab, cab to our house. We're like, okay, no problem. And then, uh, and then we get to Huddersfield, we get off the train, and they're there. They're there waiting for us. Uh, these two <laughs> tiny little 85-year-olds, these um, Northern England, Tiny, pumpkin-faced people. <laughs> Just so adorable. And they told us that they had uh, made the drive the day before as a test run. <laughs> Just to see if they could get close enough to the train station to pick us up. And it worked out. So they were there to pick us up. And then, uh, and then we're driving back to their place. And, um, and Peter says... Oh, Pat, I, uh, I understand that you're very excited to see Castle Hill. <laughs> I had zero idea what Castle Hill was. But I thought, whoa, these people are so nice to me. I'm just going to roll with this. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really excited. Been dying to see it. <laughs> Castle Hill, this is going to be it, man. <laughs> I says, we're going all over Europe, but Castle Hill is the thing. <laughs> That's what I need in my life. And I guess, um, I guess my mother-in-law in her letter had mentioned that I was super excited to see Castle Hill. And my wife just never told me that. And again, I had no idea what Castle Hill was. So, uh, what Castle Hill is, if none of you have been to Huddersfield, <laughs> um, 
is this this giant hill with like an old ruin on it. Now, it's not an actually old ruin, it's like a half old ruin. They made it for uh, Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, but they like made it to look like it was a thousand years older than that. Um, anyways, it's great. Uh, so they, uh, so uh, then Peter was like, hey, we're too old to walk up Castle Hill, so we'll just like drop you off at the bottom of the footpath. And I was like, what is Castle Hill? <laughs> How intense is Castle Hill? Uh, but first we went back to their house to have lunch, and, um, and Barbara was so excited to tell us that she had made us uh, a courgette pie. And I had no idea what that was. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what is that? And um, what's a courgette? And she just like stared at me like I was just the biggest fool she'd ever seen. <laughs> And then when the courgette pie turned up, it was, it was a zucchini quiche. Because I, um... <laughs> because I guess courgette is the English word for zucchini. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, we enjoy that, and we, um... And they, uh, they want to give us a little tour of their tiny garden. Uh, show us where those courgettes came from. <laughs> That was pretty exciting. Um, and it was, it was lovely, it was lovely. And then they were like, okay, you ready for Castle Hill? I'm like, of course, <laughs> of course. And um, so they, uh, so Peter uh, drove us to the uh, bottom of the footpath to Castle Hill, which is 30 seconds away from his house. <laughs> Very nice of him. Um, <laughs> Not totally sure why he didn't just point at it. Um, <laughs> it drives us to the bottom of Castle Hill, and it is... Yeah, that's a steep mother, Castle Hill. That is. We had just walked all over London for four days, and, uh, and my bones hurt. And, um, and this was just like, okay, here's a hike I didn't know about. <laughs> well, we went up Castle Hill, and it was great. It was honestly great. Um, because we got to see like the real England, like I said, like uh, just like rolling hills, if hills actually roll. But um, uh, it was lovely. And then we came back down, and we uh, and we went back to their house. And uh, Barbara presented me with a book about Castle Hill that she had bought. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, I will cherish this forever. Uh, and then, uh, and then, um, my wife's cousin and her husband came over because we were going uh, to their house for the night for uh, to, to hang out with them. So um, they came over to pick us up, and uh, and her cousin Sophie had a broken foot, and she was telling us a story that she had recently been in Morocco. And some people were doing sexy Zumba. <laughs> and she felt that she, they weren't doing it right. <laughs> so she decided to show them how to do sexy Zumba. And she fell off her flip-flop and broke her foot. And then uh, Barbara, <laughs> old Aunt Barbara uh, said, uh, I recently hurt my foot. Let me show you this. And she uh, went up in a cabinet and got down a bunch of pictures and she said, uh, what happened was a big bale of hay had gotten loose further up Castle Hill. <laughs> and it had rolled down into their backyard and it had like demolished their fence and just left this like trail of hay and it almost hit Barbara, who was outside reading. <laughs> so she told us that she jumped through a window. <laughs> and broke her foot. I really think she meant sliding door, but... But I just let her have it. <laughs> and then she jumped through a window, and she, um... And so she hands me this picture of this, uh, of just all this hay, right? All this hay, just like, 
this trail of hay uh, ruining their garden, and uh, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's terrible, and I and I pass it to my wife, who's like, mm-hmm, who passed it to uh, who passed it to her cousin, who then passed it to her husband, and we're all like, mm, yeah, that's that's awful. And I said, uh, and apparently they've been picking. Uh, hay out of their courgette garden for, <laughs> for a while now uh, because some seeds had gotten in there and that's been really annoying for them. But then she said, then she said, uh, you know, I hurt myself another time recently. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> said we were recently in Spain and uh, the bathroom that we had uh, when you shower, the whole bathroom gets wet. So she went in there to brush her teeth after Peter had showered, and she slipped on the floor. And she told me that she'd really hurt her backside. And then she hands me another picture. <laughs> A picture of her backside. <laughs> Wearing, she was wearing underwear, guys. She was wearing underwear, but there's just this huge, like, purple and black uh, bruise that's, like, all the way up her butt to, the like, the top of her back, right? And, uh, and uh, she hands me this picture. This 85-year-old British woman who I'd met two hours earlier. <laughs> I don't know why she handed me that picture, but I was like, oh, yeah, that's... Oh, that's rough. <laughs> that is rough. And then I pass it to my wife, who's like, oh, yeah, yeah. She passes it to her cousin, who then passes it to her husband, and we're all like, oh, yeah, awful, awful. <laughs> then she hands me another picture. <laughs> Same theme. <laughs> This time, no underpants. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Um, <laughs> I passed it to my wife. Oh, yeah. 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 Passed it to her cousin. Passed it to her husband. And, um. Yeah, she just fully showed us her butt. <laughs> so then, um. We were all getting ready to leave, and, uh. uh we got in, in uh, her cousin's car and, um, said goodbye to. Peter and Barbara, and uh, as soon as all the doors of the car were closed, I said, Barbara's butt. <laughs> <laughs> to her cousin and his husband, and her husband, who, uh, who I'd never met until that moment. And then, uh, but that just totally broke the ice. We were just best friends after that. <laughs> Turns out that's all you have to do. Say Barbara's butt. So now I've said it to you and we're all best friends. Thanks so much.